Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. And I am hoping this is the right box. <laughs> so if you missed yesterday's video, I highly recommend you go back and watch that video. Because it explains why I purchased this yarn. And some information, a backstory. Although I can tell you the information again. I'm about to rip this box, so be prepared. There we go. So... Quick little recap, very quick little recap. This box is from Michaels.com. Oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> I was watching Sandy from Crochet A Canada. She showed a yarn on her channel that I had never heard of from Premier Yarns. And being as though I am the self-proclaimed Premier Yarns girl, I'm like the Premier Yarns person okay a lot of people have told me that they have only heard about premier yarns from me and this video i think is going to be a pl video so welcome to pl because we didn't do one last week <laughs> pl stands for premier yarn of the week p-y-o-w um anyway sandy showed me this yarn and i was like okay i've never heard of that yarn from premier yarns and i was like quite ashamed that i did not have this information so i went on a little quest on the internet and i was like okay i need to find this yarn and it was not easy to do because as far as i know as of the recording of this video which is august i'm still in august you guys are in september watching this but this is in august this yarn has not as of today been released so how it is available so soon, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this yarn. I'm waiting to hear back from Premiere as of the recording of this video. If these yarns release before this video comes up, or even afterwards, I will make little short videos to tell you that they are released on PremiereYarns.com. We will, but like as of right now, this is just an unboxing. We can do reviews on any of these yarns I've showed you either yesterday or today in the future. Just ask. I will be happy to record my opinions on these yarns. But Sandy showed them and I was like, what? What? And while doing all that, I also came across some other new yarns from Premier that was in yesterday's video, which is why I highly suggest you watch yesterday's and today's video. So that brings us to today. I went on a serious deep dive hunt on the internet looking for these yarns. Now, the one Sandy showed on her channel was Canyon Colors. Never heard of it. Still, no, I know nothing as of the recording of this video about this yarn. I know that I saw it on Sandy's channel. I know that this is the newish labels for PremierYarns.com. So, here we are doing an unboxing from Michaels.com. This yarn was way overpriced on Michaels.com, and I don't think when Premier Yarns releases it, it will be the same price. Um, I will update you when I have more information, but as of the recording of this video in August, I don't have that information as of right now. I'm trying to gather information. I have emails in with Premier Yarns. I'm waiting to hear back. But, I had to, I had to purchase, okay? I don't know how much these are going to be when they are finally released, but I paid like $8.19 a ball through a third party seller through Michaels.com. So with that, that's where we're at as of today. <laughs> like I said, I will update you further when I have more information. Now I ordered, apparently I ordered two different colors and I ordered two balls of each color, right? This yarn reminds me a lot of the Premier Serenity yarn. So I guess that's Premier Canyon Colors. Now, in case you don't know, I am a canyon lover, okay? I love national parks. I love visiting places with mountainous regions and canyons and, like, all of that. And so the name automatically drew me in. The colorway for this one drew me in because it's Summer Breeze. And one of my tutorials on the channel is the Summer Breeze tank top. So that's why I ordered this color. <laughs> this yarn very much reminds me of either the Toy Box yarn or the Premier Serenity yarn. With the way that it feels and kind of the way it looks. It is slightly different but not a whole lot. 
So let's get down to the brass tacks and I'll tell you more about this yarn. So Canyon Colors is 109 yards, 100% acrylic. It is a bulky number five machine wash, warm, tumble dry, low heat, tested and approved against harmful things that could cause you skin irritations, cancers, etc. Those things are not in this yarn. Um, so it's safe to make for even the most sensitive skins. The label is really, really faded, so it's hard to tell what it's actually going to look like because that doesn't look like this at all. It feels nice and squishy. Like I said, it reminds me of the Toy Box yarn or the Serenity yarn. So I got two in the color Summer Breeze, and then I got two in this color, which is Storm Cloud, which I just kind of fell in love with. Um, and again, the label is very washed out compared to the coloring that is in the yarn. But it gives you an idea that the yarn is not, like the color is, it kind of gives the, the feeling of like a, a hand painted yarn, right? It's just pretty. See how it's like not even and it's just like speckly looking. And of course the swatches are usually worked up in knit, but like this, there's a huge difference between the way it looks in knit and the way it looks in crochet. And so unless you crochet it up, you're not going to have an idea of what this is actually going to look like. But I just, I was so excited when I saw these on Sandy's channel. And while I was on Michael's looking for those, I came across Painterly again. No idea about this yarn. <laughs> I had no clue. So when I saw that it is in these gorgeous neon colors... In case you don't know, neon is my favorite color. <laughs> I love neon. I love rainbows and I love neon and I love neon rainbows. Like all, I, so much. I have a whole selection of neon yarns. I love neon. So my heart is just like pitter pattering right now. And like I said, I paid way too much for this yarn because it was through a third party through michaels.com. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to pull up my order. I need to go to Michael's app. I'm going to try to pull up because I think all of these were around $8 a ball, which I really just paid that price so that I could get them to do a video on them because I really just wanted to know about these yarns. There it is. There it is. So the Painterly is anti-pilling acrylic, which is part of their everyday line. If you don't know what anti-pilling acrylic is, because I get a lot of people that are like, what is anti-pilling acrylic? Anti-pilling acrylic means when you wash it and you dry, you throw the washer and the dryer, it doesn't get those little fuzz balls on it. And if fuzz balls appear from like wear and tear from you're like wearing it a lot or you're using the blanket a lot, the um, if you throw it in the washing machine, the pills actually fall off, so it doesn't stay all fuzzy and gross looking. All right, yeah, these were eight seventeen a piece, which I'm. I'm fairly confident these are not going to be that expensive on PremierYarns.com when they come out. Um, so I don't recommend buying them through or through Michaels. I would wait until they are on Premier Yarns. The same thing with yesterday's video. I told you the puzzle and the Premier Basics was released on Mary Maxim's website, but I wouldn't particularly order them from Mary Maxim except that's the only place they were available at the time to me because Mary Maxim charges so much for shipping. Oh, my coffee's gone. When you go take a drink and I'm like, wait a minute, my cup's empty. <laughs> so I, I'm not positive, but I don't think they're going to be $8.17 on PremierYarns.com. And let me double check. The Canyon colors were actually eight thirty-five dollars a ball on Michaels.com. And I don't think they're going to be near that much on PremierYarns.com. I am still waiting for word back, but... I'm recording this video while I'm opening them because I wanted to give you guys my first impression of what they are. So these are actually two different colorways. Are they? Yeah. They look very similar. All right, I see the difference. Okay. So the difference between the two colorways is this one has a uh, blue in it. <laughs> this one has blue, this one is not. And I think other than that, they're exactly the same. 
All right, so let's get back to this. Premier Yarns Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted Painterly. It is a worsted weight number four. Brush stroke print. And there is not an idea. None of these labels have like the swatch, like the color, the Canyon Colors does. But this type of, I've worked with this type of yarn before. What you will get when you knit it is little micro stripes. Okay. So there'll be random little micro stripes. But when you crochet this, you'll get more of like little spots around that stitch. So it won't be, it won't be like little micro stripes unless you do like really thin, like single crochets you might be able to get a micro stripe but any other stitch you're gonna get like little like color blobs which I am not mad at because I think this can be so cute and I am by stitchable so I can knit and crochet and see how I like this yarn <laughs> so uh, machine like I said it's machine washable warm tumble dry normal I have fiber in my mouth I have a lot of yarn on my desk currently because I got I got a lot of orders. I'm opening. <laughs> all right. So what else can I tell you? It's tested and approved again. It's safe for all skin types. Um, it is the color. This one is the color neon lights. This is the one without the blue strip in it. And the one with the blue strip is called party time. And it appears that the only difference is that blue strip. Because as far as I can tell, every other color is in here. So these can very much go into a project together, but if you're going to put them into a project together, you would kind of have to like blend them in a little bit. So when these release on Premier Yarns website, I will be ordering much more of these because oh my God, new yarn. <laughs> and it's neon. They did have other colors. Um, let me, let me open up the app again. Orders. So the painterly has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors that are going to be available of this one. That's kind of focusing in. And I clicked through them and some of them are just not my cup of tea. Let me see. Sunday brunch. I mean, that one's pretty. And if you like those those muted colors, you're going to really like that one. I actually don't mind this one. It's like a white or a creamy base with like a very muted denim color, a very muted sage color, and a very like muted like pink, like a rosy pink. That one's called Sunday Brunch. They have Boho which is like seven, this is like 70s colors. That's what it reminds me of. It's got the avocado and then like the orange and like a little turquoisey color and well, looks like eggplant. Party time, I showed you jam sessions. This one's pretty too. I don't mind any of these, but what I really love is the neon stripes. And that those are that that one is a pretty pretty like I and my one of my favorite yarns in the entire world is the the everyday line of Premier Yarns because it's anti peeling acrylic. It's super soft. It works up beautifully, and like I said, you can wash it. And I believe their their press release on the everyday line is you can wash it up to three hundred times, and it will still remain like new wash after wash. This is the color Preppy. And that's what Premier really boasts on this everyday line is that it is it is meant to last a lifetime. And I've had other podcasters, uh, Carrie Penny, for example, she is the Happy Crafty Homemaker. Um, she has been around far longer than I have. She, she is very well versed on yarn and specifically Premier yarns. And this last one is called the this color is called flannel. This is not my jam at all. <laughs> I don't like browns and oranges. And then um, she she has told stories on her channel about a blanket that she has had for many 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 years, 
and she has washed it more times than she can count between her grandchildren and and all that and she said that the blanket has just stayed like beautiful it's not perfect because it's been washed a lot but it's not all fuzzy and pilly and like worn down and I trust Carrie Penny's opinion on a lot of things so the fact that she's like hey I I'm telling you that is one of the reasons I'm like hey I know that these yarns are gonna last because she's literally shown the blanket and you could tell it's been well loved but it still looks like it's in good shape all right let's go to the canyon colors which is the chunky one that I told you reminds me of Serenity or the old toy box yarn. And it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors. I'm not gonna click on all these, but I will link I will link these below. A lot of these are not in my wheelhouse at all. Like I just so I went with the colors that were what drew me in the most, and that was like the blues. That one's not bad, but I tend to go for like really bright colors. So I'm not going to go through all those, but yeah, I was super excited. I'm so glad this was in my coffee cup. I'm glad I drank all my coffee or else it would be coffee stained. I went with the colors that really like made me want to make something out of them. And I know from experience, because I'm telling you, this reminds me a lot of the Toy Box yarn or the Serenity. This makes really good hats. Um, this is not anti-pilling acrylic. So with this yarn, just don't give it to a kid. Like if you're gonna make a hat, because this makes really cute hats for little kids and it's warm and like fluffy and plump. Um, little Man has tore this type of yarn up because he would often have Velcro on his jacket and the Velcro on this type of yarn just destroys it. So just keep it away from like anybody that has Velcro on their clothes because Velcro will destroy this yarn. But other than that, like it's, it's a beautiful yarn. And this would make beautiful blankets. This would make beautiful hats, scarves, mittens, um, cowls, anything like that. You could probably also make like sweaters, but I again because this is not it's just basic acrylic, I would use this for like hats, scarves, mittens, that type of thing. Whereas the painterly, I'm thinking clothes. I'm really like you can make blankets out of this. You absolutely could. You can make blankets, you can make baby items out of this. You I but I'm thinking clothes for myself because it's my colors. <laughs> and I'm thinking of mixing the the speckled with well, there's a knot right there. Ugh. Oh, I pulled it out. It was one of those knots that just tangled on itself. You know how sometimes that happens? It pulled right out. I have, as a matter of fact, I have all these colors in the neon yarns. So this was an, and I don't think they make this color from Premier Yarns anymore. This was their color ultraviolet. And then I have the fluorescent or highlighter yellow. I have the green. I have the, the hunter orange. I have, actually, I have a hot pink that is brighter than that. <laughs> all from the anti-pilling line. And I don't think I have a blue to match this one. I used to. They used to have a electric blue. And I don't remember what the colorway was. They used to have an electric blue in the the um, anti-pilling acrylic from Premier. And it was like the most vibrant turquoise blue that I've ever seen. And they stopped making it some time ago. But it's like I grabbed it up when they clearanced it out and... I think I finally used all of it. I, I put it into a hat, I think, on my knitting machine because that yarn looks beautiful in a knitting machine. The everyday anti-pilling acrylic just slides through the, the knitting machine. The knitting machines love it. So if you can't knit but you have a knitting machine, you're going to love this in their knitting machine. Um, but I, I like working it. I like feeling it in my hands. I like crocheting it. I like knitting it. I like just... <laughs> The everyday acrylic is my favorite and the fact that they came out with not just neons but like little micro stripe neons or speckles depending on if I crochet or knit it of that I'm just gonna be so I just can't wait to work with it I was so excited it's been like it feels like it's been a long time since Premier Yarns released a new yarn that sparked my interest um, they've been heavy on the, the, the fluffy yarns for like, you know, the Amigurumi. Amigurumi is really popular right now. 
Amigurumi is really popular with the young people and a lot of yarn companies are like, okay, well let's market this. Let's get the new generation. And I understand, I completely understand this. Um, let's get the new generation like really reeled in. We're gonna like market to them. And because Amigurumi is with the young people is so popular, they're doing a lot of like the fluffy yarns, like the parfaits and the, the blanket style yarns and stuff. Cause those make really cute little stuffed animals. They really do. And they work really good for those type of things. I am not an Amigurumi artist. I will make Amigurumi on occasion, but it's not my favorite things to do. I have arthritis in my hands and Amigurumi is very painful to me. And I also hate sewing all the pieces together. So for me, I like wearables. I like making stuff that fits on my body. I like making designs for like any body size so that whether you're fat, skinny, square shaped, round shaped, hourglass figured, I want you to be able to make something for your body. That is my wheelhouse. That is where I am the happiest. That is where my creativity really blossoms. So yarn for that kind of thing is really, really what makes me happy. <laughs> Um, I also encourage you to check out yesterday's video if you haven't and see the new Puzzle Shimmer and the new Premier Basics Shimmer, both of which I also recommend. I am a huge fan of Premier Yarns and I have been for a very long time, which is why I choose to be an affiliate with them. I love their yarns. I really love when they release new yarns and I love being able to show you guys the new yarns because... All the joy, the happiness, like even right now I'm getting goosebumps because <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, this is my favorite. I, it's just, I'm, as soon as it releases on Premier Yarn's website, I am buying like a whole supply of this yarn. I just want all of it, especially these two colorways because it's so soft and the colors make my brain so happy. Um, Yes, I make a profit if you buy these yarns using my link. But like I said, as of the recording of this video, I don't know when these yarns are going to be released. Um, I will try to do shorts and let you know, hey, Premier Yarns has a new yarn out. And then link that below. But as of right now, like I'm just showing you to show you. Because I'm excited. I want to do this. Um, so stinking excited. And like I said, I've been waiting for, it's been several months waiting for Premiere to come out with something new that sparked my interest. And I understand what Premiere's doing. Like they're trying to, to market to the younger people. They're trying to like, but that type of yarn is not, it's not me. And I don't show yarn on here that I don't necessarily like. And it's not that I don't like the fluffy yarns. It's just, I don't work with it because I don't make Amigurumi very often. And to have new yarns that, feel like they're made just for me it makes me so so happy and so yeah I wanted to share that with you guys I can't wait to dig into these yarns I have a couple of projects I'm trying to get through now but I really am excited to to share more with you about these yarns and show them to you more and maybe make tutorials for these yarns because uh, and it smells good <laughs> so like I said, I purchased these yarns for probably way too much money through a third party through the Michaels app. I will, of course, tell you when these are released on PremierYarns.com because I suggest you buy through that. I do have an affiliate link with PremierYarns.com. It helps to fund the channel. It helps me to continue to buy yarns to show you guys. But... If you don't want to use my affiliate link, there's, I, I just like showing this yarn. I like sharing with you my passion and, and my joy with these yarns. I love the community that we have created here on the YouTube and even on Instagram. I feel like all the social medias, I have created this amazing community here where we just share our love and our joy of color, of textures, of yarn, of creations. And I'm so proud of what we have done together. And I'm so glad that you guys are here on this journey with me to share our love of all things yarny goodness. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, and thank you to Sandy from Crochet A for showing this on her channel and getting me out there researching to find these new yards because I'm just, I'm so happy. So thank you, Sandy, for showing those. And I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.